All righty, thank you, James. Angry demonstrations are growing around the world as Israel continues its assault on Gaza. Officials say more than 100 Hamas targets were struck overnight. President Biden says he expects trucks filled with humanitarian aid to soon reach millions of Palestinians trapped in Gaza. Ines de la Quatera has our coverage from Jerusalem. The Israel Defense Force has confirmed to ABC News that two Americans, a mother and a daughter, who were being held hostage by Hamas have been released and are currently with the Red Cross. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visiting with IDF soldiers as the Israel Defense Forces prepare for a ground invasion against Hamas militants in Gaza. Israel continuing its armed response for the terror attack by Hamas militants. At least 1,400 Israelis were killed in the massacre. They can't even identify the bodies, it's so bad. The IDF says Hamas took more than 200 people hostage, families of some of those hostages traveling to the Red Cross in Geneva, pleading for help. Any civilized country should put as much pressure as they can for the release of the hostages. In an address last night, President Biden saying America stands firmly with Israel as well as Ukraine, two U.S. allies at war. We're facing an inflection point in history. Could we walk away from Ukraine? If we turn our backs on Israel, it's just not worth it. Meanwhile, Israeli airstrikes into Gaza continue. The Hamas-run Palestinian Health Ministry says more than 3,700 people in Gaza have been killed, millions displaced from their homes, trapped without food, water, medicine, or electricity. When we went to the hospital, they were bombing above our heads. We were just terrified. terrified. We didn't know if we will reach the place like safely or not. Pro-Palestinian protests growing around the world, thousands taking to the streets in Yemen, Egypt, Iraq and elsewhere demanding a ceasefire in Israel's assault. The barbaric attack by Hamas uh, need to be condemned, but I've also said they cannot be a pretext for a collective punishment of the Palestinian people. The IDF says the two hostages released were received at the border of the Gaza Strip, then taken to a military base at the center of the country where their families were waiting for them. Inez de la Quatera, ABC News, Jerusalem.